Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Sheni, Daf Tetzain Amud Aleph, Chapter 2, Page 16a. Olim Lin Chalim, why are tents and brooks juxtaposed? Dichtiv, as it's written, Kin Chalim Nitayu, Kagonat Ale, Naha Kahalim Natave Gomez, stretching out like brooks, like gardens by river, like tents pitched, etc. Lomalacha, to teach you. Malin mane chalim malin et hadam mituma letahara. Just as brooks elevate a person from ritual impurity to ritual purity. Af o halim malin et hadam et hadam mikaf chova lecha zechut. Also, the tense of Torah can elevate a person from the scale of guilt toward a scale of merit. The Mishnah said. Hakore lemafreya loyata vechole, one who recites Shmai out of sequence has not fulfilled. Rabbi Ami Rabbi Yasi Havoka Katrin Le Ganana Le Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Ami and Rabbi Yasi were fastening a canopy for the wedding of Rabbi Elazar. Amalehu, Rabbi Elazar said to them, Al Haki Vahaki Ezil Eshma. Milta Debe Midrasha. In the meantime, I'll go hear something in the study hall. The eighty aim the aimalahu, and I will come back and tell it to you. Azalash Kahe, Latana de Katane, Kame de Rabbi Yochanan. He went and found a Tana who was reciting before Rabbi Yochanan, Karavata'a. One was reciting Shma and made an error. The Aino Yodele Hechanta'a, but does not know where he made an error. Uh, so he should return to the beginning of the paragraph. And in the middle of the paragraph, he should return to the beginning of the paragraph. If he's between paragraphs, he should return to the first paragraph. If between the first uh, verse of writing mezuzah, and second verse of writing, Yachazor lechtiva rishona. He should return to the first verse of writing. Amale Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said to the Tana, Lo shano elav shelo patach bilaman yirbu yemechem. They applied uh, the ruling of the Brisa only where one did not begin. Uh, only where one where where one did not begin leman yirbu yemechem in order to prolong their days. Aval. Patach bilaman yirbu yemechem. However, if they be, he began, uh, if he already began reciting leman yirbu yemechem in order to prolong your days, sirche nakat vaatei. Uh, we can assume that he adopted a habit of saying that of the of, of saying that section. Uh, so he had a good habit of saying it flawlessly. Atavah malehu. Rabbi Elazar came back. To Rabbi Ami and Rabbi Yassi and told them, Amrule, they said to him, Ilu lo vanu ela lishma davaze deno. If we had come only to hear this matter, it would have sufficed us. I'll just scroll down. We're starting from the Mishnah, about a quarter of a third of the way down the page. Mishnah. Ha'umanin korin berosh ha'ilan or berosh ha'nidbach. The workers may recite Shema on the top of a tree or on the top of, of a wall of stones. Ma she'enan rasha'in la'asot ken betfilah, something they are not permitted to do in the case of Shema Nesra prayer. Chatan pato mikriyat Shema admo e Shabbat. A groom who marries a betula is exempt from the Shema recital for the first night of his marriage until the departure of Shabbat. In Lo Asamaseh, if he did not yet perform, uh, if he didn't have sex with her yet. Or Maseh by Rabban Gamliel, and there was an incident involving Rabban Gamliel, Shenasa Isha Bekara Laila Harishana, who married a woman and recited Shema on the first night of his wedding. Amru Lo Talmidav, his student said to him, Limadatanu Rabbeinu Shechatan Patu Mikriyat Shema. A teacher, you have told us that a groom is exempt from the Shema recital on the night of his wedding. Amalahem, Eni Shamelachem, I will not listen to you. Levatelhem, Heimen. Hey, many malchut shemay mafilush acha to abrogate to abrogate from myself uh, 
the an obligation to accept the, uh, the heaven's sovereignty for even one moment. Gemara. Tan Rabbanan, ha humanin karin berosh ha ilan o berosh hanidbach. The workers may recite Shema on the top of a tree or on the top of a stone wall. Umit palalim berosh ha zait o berosh ha teena, and they may even pray on the top of an olive tree or on the top of a fig tree. Usha akol ha ilanot. Yodim lamata umatulim, but regarding all other trees, they must descend and pray. Uval habayit, and the owner of the orchard, ben kach or ben kach, yored lamata umit palel should in either case descend to pray. The fisher ain't at all me or shevet Allah, for one's mind is not at ease when he's on the top of a tree. Ramele Rav Mari Bara Devat Shmuel de Rav Le Rava Rav Mari the son of Oshmuel's daughter pointed out a contradiction to Rava. Tanam we learned in a Mishnah Ha Umanin Karim Brosh Ha Ilan or Rosh Hanitbach the workers may recite on the top of the tree or on the top of the stone wall. Alma Loba Ay Kavana we see the Sharasaru requires no special intent. Urmine Urminehi and they noted a contradiction in the Brasa. Hakore et Shma Tsarich Shi Kaven et Libo one who recites Shma needs to direct his heart. Shnema, Shma Israel, for it stated, Hear O Israel, Ule Halan, Hu Amer, and Elf for it states, Hasket O Shma Israel. Be attentive and hear O Israel. Male Halan Behasket, just as there is hearing with attentiveness, Afkan Behasket, he too. With, it, with attentiveness. Ishtik, Rava was silent. Amale, Rava, said to Rav Mari, Midishmiya lach baha, have you heard anything about this? Amale, Rav Mari said to him, Hachi, Amar Rav Sheshet. Rav Sheshet said, Vehu shebetelin umim lachtan vekorin. So workers on the top of a tree can recite, provided they interrupt their work and recite. But it was told to Brisa, Beit Hillel Omrim, Oskim be Milach Tan, the Korean, they can remain engaged in their work and say it at the same time, and say Shema at the same time. Lokashya, Ha Beperik Rishon, this was about the first portion, Ha Beperik Shani, and this was about the second portion. So it's different parts of the Shema they were saying. Tan Rabbanan, the rabbis taught, Workers who were performing labor for their employer, Korin Kriyat Shema Umevachin Lefanea Ola Chreha. May recite the Shema and recite the blessing before it and after. Ba'ochlim Pitan Umevachin Lefanea Ola Achreha. And they may eat their bread and recite the blessing before it and after it. I'm just going to scroll down. So we just started um, at the last Tanarabhanan. We just started um, about a third of the way through the line, about two thirds of the way down. Tanarabhanan, I apologize. It's on the screen. It is there. Come right here. Aval ein yodin lifnei ha-teva, however they may not go down before the ark. The ein nos in kapehem, and if kainim, they may not lift their hands to do duchnan. But Tanya, but it was taught in Baraisa. Me'ein shmona esre, so workers only say in abridged shmona esre, ama rav sheshet, lo kasha, there is no difficult ha-rabbanan gamliel, ha-rabban gamliel. This is the opinion of rabban gamliel. Ha, Rabbi Yeshua. And the other is, uh, so the first, Rabbi Gamil says that uh, so workers who recite the entire Shema Nesre is according to Rabbi Gamil. Ha, Rabbi Yeshua. Uh, this is according to Rabbi Yeshua, that workers recite only in a bridge version of Shema Nesre. E, Rabbi Yeshua. If, a uh, Rabbi Yeshua, my iria palim. Why did he single out? Sorry, just had an interruption. We'll go back to I Rabbi Yoshua. If Rabbi Yoshua, my Iriya Palim, why did he single out the case of the workers? I feel a call at Damnami. It should be even for any man that can recite the abridged, the abridged version. Ella, Idi, Idi, Rabban Gamliel. Rather, both braces reflect Rabban Gamliel. 
who say that um, that you should do the full Shmon Esra, Belokasha, and there is no difficulty. Kan Be'osin Bishcharan, here is where, uh, so the bridge version is for where they work for wages. Kan Be'osin Bishudatan, and here is where they work only for a meal. Um, the second one being working for a meal is where they say the complete Shmon Esra. Tanya, who's taught in a brace, a poalim, shayuasim, melacha, etzel, ba al habait, workers who are performing labor for their employer, Korin, kriat, shma, umit palin, may perform the shma recital and pray. The ochlin pitan, the ain mevachim lefaneha, and they may eat their bread, but they may not recite the blessing of Hamosi before the meal. Aval mevachin lacharea shtein, but they may recite two blessings of Bekaramazon after the meal. Ketzad, how? Berachash rishona ketikuna. The first blessing is in accordance with uh, the with an arrangement. Shnia pateach bevir kata eretz. The second is the one begins with a blessing of the land. The cholalin bonei Yerushalayim bevir kata eretz, and includes uh, the builder of Jerusalem in the blessing of the land. To what circumstances does this ruling apply? That we can say in a bridge to Birkat Amazon. But Osin Bisharan, where they work for wages, Aval Osin Bisodatan, however, if they work for only only for meals, or Shehayaba Allah Balabait may serve Imahen, or if the employer was eating with them, Mevachin Ke Tikuna, they recite Birkat Amazon in accordance with its with the original arrangement, that is the entire text. A further Mishnah, Chatan Patum Kriya Shema, a groom is exempt from the Shema recital on the first night of his marriage. Tana Rabbanan, the rabbi's taught, Beshiv Techa Bevei Techa, during, you say Shema, during your sitting in your home. Pratla Osek Mitzvah, to the exclusion of one who is involved in performing a mitzvah. And during your walking on the way, Pratla Chatan, to the exclusion of a groom, Mika Namru, they said, from here they said, Hakones et habitula pator, one who marries a virgin is exempt. The et almana chayav, one who marries a widow is obligated to recite Shema. My mashma, how does the verse imply uh, that that um, that they're exempt? Ama Rav Papa, Rav Papa says, Ki derech, this is comparable to the way ma derech reshut, just as one. Uh, just as uh, the ways for discretionary purposes, af hachanami reshot. Here also, um, you can pause and recite Shema if in a discretionary act. But if it's uh, in a mitzvah act, in a non-discretionary act, he's exempt. Milo askinan dekazil lidvar mitzvah. Are we not dealing uh, with uh, that he's going on the way for an obligatory for an obligatory mitzvah matter? And nevertheless, the most one said that he should say Shema. If it's so, let the verse state, while walking. What is the meaning of during your walking? Shema minat, derived from the inclusion of the word, uh, of the word, of that word, sorry, belechet didach hu d'michayvat, it is for your personal walking that you're obligated. Ha de mitzvah ptirat. And an obligatory walking, you are exempt from saying the Shema.